Welcome to the Did You Know series presented by Solid Experience Group. My name is Greg Bedlick, and today we are talking about UL94V0 rated thermoplastics. And in layman's terms, that is fire-resistant, self-extinguishing 3D printed parts. Now, back in May of 2019, Mark Forge released a new filament called Onyx FR with a UL94 rating of V0. What's UL94 and is V0 good? UL94 is a plastics flammability standard, also known as the standard for safety of flammability of plastic materials for parts in devices and appliances. And this includes surface, vertical, and horizontal burn tests. But Mark Forged Onyx FR is rated V0, V standing for vertical. So we're going to focus on the vertical burn test and the ratings V0, V1, and V2. While there are a number of variables for this test, like flame, duration, length, thickness, and burn time, here's what's most important. To achieve a V0 rating, the subjects are exposed to an open flame for 10 seconds. The subject then has to self-extinguish within 10 seconds, and the test is repeated a total of 10 times. If the total burn time is less than 50 seconds, afterglow is less than 30 seconds, and the drips don't ignite the surroundings, then we're talking V0. V1 and V2 have similar requirements, but longer durations. Now, these tests are performed in a controlled lab, and we'd like to see the fire extinguishing properties for ourselves. UL94 V0 rated plastics are ideal for aerospace, automotive, and electrical applications, and even watercraft, which is why I have these four samples here for testing. Our first material is the most common bioplastic for printing, which is polylactic acid, or PLA. PLA is very affordable. It comes in a variety of colors. It's easy to print with for both hobbyist and professional applications and it's stronger than ABS. However, it is rather brittle and has a very low heat resistance. Next up and similar in color, we have Mark Forge Nylon White, which is non-abrasive and ideal for flexible or sliding components. I'm also very curious to see how pure nylon burns. Next, we have the flagship thermoplastic of Mark Forge, which is called Onyx. Onyx is a microcarbon fiber filled nylon twice as strong as ABS. It's wear resistant, has a beautiful black matte finish, and a heat deflection of 293 degrees Fahrenheit. And lastly, what we've all been waiting for is the Onyx FR, which is identical to Onyx except it is flame resistant. And just a quick observation here as well, these little tugboats here are called benchies, and they are intentionally difficult to print, as they are there to benchmark your printer. There are a series of small features on here, like the stepping on the roof, small features in the rear, lots of unsupported faces and angles to identify any extrusion or quality issues with your printer. And as always, Mark Forge does a fantastic job of printing these. As a quick test, we are going to subject each tugboat or benchie to a much hotter flame from a propane torch. The flame will be placed directly on the bow for four seconds, and we'll note the number of applications for a significant burn and any other general observations. First up, our PLA Benchy is exposed to the flame for four seconds and begins to melt immediately. Now keep in mind that all four samples were printed with 0.8 millimeter wall thickness and 10% infill, which makes for a very hollow part. If this was 100% solid, I would expect a much slower burn, but as we can see, it goes from bow to stern, creating flaming droplets and puddles. Next up, we have our nylon white. We applied the four seconds of flame and nothing happened. So we tried it again, and again, and again. And of course, the burn is dependent on the type of geometry and placement, but the nylon was surprisingly stubborn to catch fire. But once it did, the small droplets from the canopy burned the brightest and continued to burn. And when the fire ran out of vertical fuel, the flame ceased. Next, we have our flagship chopped carbon fiber nylon blend called Onyx. Similar to the nylon white, it required multiple applications of the flame to finally burn. The droplets do propagate the flame and burn from bow to stern, but we did notice that the onyx material kind of bubbles and fizzles, while the PLA and nylon white simply melted. Either way, the three previous materials are not UL94 rated. And finally, we have the Onyx FR with the same 4 second application. As advertised, the Onyx FR doesn't propagate the flame. There are no droplets or melting, but the surface does become somewhat flaky and glows red where the flame is applied, similar to charred wood. We tried this on multiple faces and received identical results. The bow did sustain the flame for a few seconds here and there, but immediately extinguished. Overall, I'm really impressed with this material. Not to say that PLA is a bad material, but it is night and day in comparison. There we have it. The results do not lie. Onyx FR is self-extinguishing. If you have questions or you would like a sample part, please contact our sales and technical team and we will gladly help you out. 
Do tune in next time though for when we take standard 3D printed parts and make them as strong as aluminum using continuous fiber reinforcement. Wow, that's tough.